hockey all the time. You're watching the NHL Network. Recky to Lemieux. He scores! Lemieux over to Young. Back to Lemieux. He shoots. He scores! Yeah, the big guy's angry. Shanahan cuts for the net. In front, they score! McLean! Scott Young takes the shot. Great save by Chris Terreri. Kicked by Shanahan. Stasny is robbed. He's robbed. The time runs out. There'll be a seventh game on Monday. Welcome to Classic Series here on the NHL Network. I'm Dan Pollard. Well, it's easy to remember that Mario Lemieux notched 44 points to win the Conn Smythe Trophy in 1991 while leading the Pittsburgh Penguins to the Stanley Cup. What is often forgotten, however, is how close the Penguins came to missing the final. Pittsburgh faced elimination in the Patrick Division semifinal against the New Jersey Devils and had to mount a comeback without their injured starting goaltender, Tom Barrasso. The adversity set the stage for one of the most memorable playoff debuts in league history. Without their superstar, the Penguins started the regular season slowly. After 31 games, they were on the outside of the playoff picture looking in, 14 points behind the division leading Rangers. Things, however, turned around and Pittsburgh caught fire, reeling off six straight wins to get into the hunt. Not satisfied, general manager Craig Patrick made a daring move, dealing high scoring forward John Cullen to Hartford and a multiplayer trade that brought the Penguins defenseman Alt Samuelson and veteran Ron Francis. The team responded with a seven-game unbeaten streak in March as they skated to their first division title in franchise history. Mark Recchi led the team in scoring with 113 points, finishing fourth in the league overall. The 113 points, by the way, were a 46-point improvement from the year before. While Mario Lemieux played in only 26 games, he still managed to register 45 points. Kevin Stevens also emerged as a scoring threat, posting career highs with 40 goals and 86 points. The Devils started quickly and were in second place before the Christmas break. That's when things started to go south. At one point, New Jersey had to ride out an 11-game winless streak. By the final week of the season, they found themselves in third place. After losing their final two games, they would end up in fourth, a game under 500. John McClain led the team with 45 goals and 78 points. Chris Terreri emerged as a team's starting goaltender, posting career best in virtually every meaningful category. For the Penguins, this was just their second foray into the playoffs since Mario Lemieux arrived in Pittsburgh in 1984. The pressure and scrutiny on the Penguins was intense, but the team was confident. They had beaten the Devils in their last five straight meetings at the Civic Center, including all four matchups during the 90-91 season. Pittsburgh had outscored the Devils by a wide margin, but the Devils knew the postseason could be a different story. This would mark the first time the two teams had met in the playoffs. Just in front of Mark Recchi. Minute and 40 seconds in. And there's no score. Here's Recchi, though, breaking away in alone. What a great save by Terreri. Larry Murphy is the puck carrier number 55. His long shot in just wide of the net. Eric Weinrich cleared the puck off the glass. Not out. Ford Roberts, number 28, to the front of the net. Here's Eric. He shoots. Stopped by Terreri. A loose puck in front of the net. And Terreri's down on top of the puck. His play is stopped. Coffee over the blue line. Late in this Penguin power play, and he's turned back. Here they go again. The penalty killers to the net. Patrick Sundstrom cuts in. Stopped by Barrasso. Two good shorthanded chance, chances for the Devils. Last 20 seconds of this power play for Pittsburgh. Brecky in a hard hit as he ran into Danico, and they both went down. Coffey moves up and has the puck. Centering pass. Recchi to the view. He scores! Lemieux from Recchi and Stevens. Now the penalty to Kirk Muller has expired, and the Devils are on their first power play of the night. They have the ninth best power play in the league. After the puck is Stastny scores! Peter Stastny ties the game 1-1 with a power play goal. 31 seconds into a penalty to Yarmir Yager. Paul Coffey. 
Tagliani gave it away. Backhander by Muller to the goal line and no further. Tagliani made the save right on the goal line. And Great Peter Tagliani saved. Watch this. Actually, Rathel got a little piece of that being turned on, and Peter Taglianetti just scooped it out again. 1-1 one, one tie. Four minutes into the third period. Stastny in front of the net. Now the wraparound. He scores! Devils lead 2-1. Stastny's second of the night. Well, Stastny's been overdue because coming into tonight's game, he had, had one goal and only one point, in fact, in the last 12 games. Back here's Kevin Stevens. Coffee moves up late. Shoots it. Didn't get through to Terreri. It is gained in front. Back the other way. Here's a two-on-one for the Devils. Boschman with Shanahan. Boschman shoots. He scores! 3-1 Devils. Well, as this game all of a sudden changed directions considerably, the fact that Mario Lemieux has really been shut down. Maloney at the side of the net, worked over. Gordon Roberts tried to keep the puck in and couldn't. Here's a breakaway pass. John McLean could seal it. Stopped by Barrasso. Great save. And the Nets come off with 107 to go. And McLean really couldn't have, could have put it away. But I think it may already be gone for the Penguins with only 107 left. And the Devils leading 3-1. Pressure is firmly on the shoulders of the Pittsburgh Penguins in this series to perform. They haven't been able to do it against a tough, tight checking team from New Jersey in game one. They'll see what they can do in game two to adjust and ward off these devils who look like the pesky devils who went to the semifinals in 88. And this won't end without a scrap. Two seconds to go, and everybody's got a man. Stevens has to cover up. He's got a broken nose, and Boschman's all over him. Played that way. What are they going to be like coming into game number two? Or going into game number two? With the fear of losing two in a row at home and having to go into the Meadowlands, one of the tough rinks in the league to play in. And it's not over yet, even though the buzzer has sounded, because Lemieux and Trache were having words, and Ron Hogarth right now would like to get both teams off the ice quickly. Yep. They'll break it up, and the New Jersey Devils have upset the Penguins on Penguin ice. It's only the third time Pittsburgh has lost in this building since Christmas. And this is certainly the most important game they've lost this season in their own building. The New Jersey Devils have defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins 3-1 to to take a 1-0 lead. The Devils' 3-1 victory was an instant reminder to Penguin fans how cruel the playoffs could be. The high hopes of Game 1 had been replaced by feelings of nervous tension that would only increase when overtime was needed to decide the winner of Game 2. They start Mario Lemieux, Ron Francis, and Kevin Stevens, but Muller's in alone, and Barrasso stopped him. A breakaway for Kirk Muller. 20 seconds into the game, and Barrasso made a big save. Here they come again. Seeger's shot is stopped by Barrasso. John Morris is number 20 with the drop pass, the blast by McLean. They score! Barrasso got a piece of it, but not enough to stop it, and John McLean has given the Devils a one to nothing lead. Boschman hit by Recky. Nice play to get the puck to Lemieux. Coffee to Mario Lemieux. Stevens screening in front. Back to Coffee with some room. He shoots. Great save, Terreri. Shots are pretty close to even now. 6 5 Penguins. A minute left in the penalty. Pittsburgh on the power play, trailing 1 0. Recky's shot. Stevens scores. Tie game. Driver frantically trying to clear the puck. Samuelson took a hit at the blue line. There'll be a New Jersey penalty. Brendan Shanahan popped Samuelson at the blue line, and Samuelson's fighting back. Talk about pop. Samuelson just popped. Shanahan with a tremendous right that hurt Shanahan. And McLean's trying to show that he's staying out of it. I'm not the third man in. You want John McLean to be a third man in if you're the Devils. Here's a giveaway. McLean and a breakaway. Missed the net. Rebound off the boards, and he got a swipe at that. Ken Danico shoots the puck in its block. Brendan Shanahan. Pass for John Morris. McLean shoots. He scores! 
second of the night for McLean, and it's 2-1 Devils. That comes Jeff Medill. That's Brown and Stastny. Stastny the drop pass. Fedosov goes to the net, shoots. Stopped by Barrasso. Loose puck, and the Devils can't put it in. Lemieux there to clear the puck. Mark Recchi with the puck. Up to the big guy. Back to Recchi. His shot is blocked by Fedosov, who lost his stick. Lemieux gets the puck. They score! Coffee! It's time to play. Everyone plays with him and up to his tempo. Recky went charging into the zone. Lemieux just grabs the puck. He sends it over to his buddy Paul Coffey, who just hammered that puck. Oh, one can only wonder whether Mario Lemieux can come out and play like that more consistently. When this guy wants to do it, as he showed that pass shift, there's nobody on the ice that can really stop him from doing what he wants to do. What a save by Terraria and Paul Coffey. Recky's dumped him behind the net. Tommy Albeling dumped him. Here's a two-on-one. McLean and Albeling the pass to the Swede. Can't get it back in front. Gordon Roberts laid his stick down and blocked the pass to McLean. Brendan Shanahan shoots. He scores! 3-2 New Jersey. Harry with Lemieux and Recky turn back inside the blue line. Murphy can't find the puck. The Devils get to it. Muller's in alone. Stopped by Barrasso. Ryan Trache. Centering pass. Shanahan knocked the puck away from Bork, and now he goes after it at center ice. With McLean. A long shot in was blocked. Another shot went wide of the net. Driver trying to keep the puck in, can against Yager. His pass got through to Trache. Four scores! Stevens <laughs> trying to get by Albeline. Centering pass. Francis shoots it. Hit the side of the net. From the point, Gordon Roberts. Screen shot, blocked in front of the net. Roberts keeps the play on side. In the front of the net, Steven shot is blocked. On the point, they score! <laughs> Alexi Kazatonov, four minutes into the third period. Slava Fedesov, his pass for Brown didn't connect. Coffey's the first man back. Brown takes him. Tagliani overskated the puck, they score! Kazatonov in front of the net has tied this game 4-4. Gets a hold of the loose puck, flips it in front. Foxman almost knocked it out of the air into the net. And Barrasso made the save. And the bodies flew in front of the net. Samuelson went down. He was decked. Amir Yager to the net. Can't get the backhander away from the point. Tagliani took the man. The Devils take the puck and just sweep it out to center. Frantic action as Bob Airy moves in. Recky's alone in front. Airy couldn't get him the puck. Time is running out as Airy jams at the puck. Just missed the net as the buzzer sounds. And the third period comes to an end with Weinrich and Recky squaring off. And Bob Airy was pushed into the devil's net. Chris Terreri went for a spill. What a way to end the third period. Airy. Off the boards for Ulf Samuelson, number five. Pat Conacher's on him, so he plays the puck to the mute. Gave it away. Brown shoots. Great save, Barrasso. And he bailed out the big guy. He sure did. Yuri Herdina, Phil Bork, and Yaramir Yager. Roberts and Samuelson, the defensive pair for Pittsburgh. Roberts is back, took a bump from Stastny, made the play to Herdina. Former flame up to Phil Bork. Yager on the right wing, hooked from behind. Will interference by McLean, but he gets to the net. Yager scores! Pittsburgh wins it. Another 
look at it. He was interfered with in the neutral zone by McLean, hooked back so he couldn't break through and take a pass. But when he got the puck, he muscled his way to the net, scored his first playoff goal, and has tied this series at a game apiece as the Penguins have defeated the Devils 5-4. Still ahead on the show, tied at a game apiece, the scene shifts to New Jersey with the team's battle in a close game that is ultimately decided in the final minute. Despite losing in overtime, the Devils had earned the coveted split in Pittsburgh. And we're now back in New Jersey holding home ice advantage. Now that was expected to be a significant edge considering both teams held five game home winning streaks against the other heading into the series. In the opening game, the Devils had ended their drought in Pittsburgh. In game three, the pressure was on the Penguins to end their slump in New Jersey. John McLean, a 45 goal score to Driver. Weinrich shoots, blocked by Barrasso. Good screen set up in front by Shanahan, but Barrasso made the save on the shot by Weinrich. Copy from Recky. Shoots, nice save by Terreri. Centering pass, they score. Recky from Lemieux, one nothing Penguins. Didn't take long, did it? Recky from Lemieux and Copy at 4.56, and a one to nothing lead for the Pittsburgh Penguins. McLean with a shot. Barrasso the save and they hit the crossbar. Brendan Shanahan put the puck off the bar. Penguins don't look so good right now in the power play in their own end zone. Devils putting on a good pressure. solid hit. Brown to driver. Great save. Rebound. And a penalty coming up against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Bruce Driver got his chance. Barrasso made the save. There's the loose puck. And there's the scramble, and there also is the penalty to Murphy. And Stastny holding on to Samuelson. McLean gets the puck on the boards for Bruce Driver at the left point. Shanahan's in front. Weinrich takes the puck. Stastny screening in front, now moves into the corner. Weinrich to Driver. McLean's quick shot. Loose puck, they score! Shanahan! Recky was knocked down in front of the net. Coffee. Mario Lemieux to Coffee shoots. Terreri just got a piece of that at the last second. What a shot and what a save. 2.53 to play in the first period in a 1 1 tie here with an up centering pass. No Penguins in front. Murphy's shot. Terreri makes the save. Francis trying to center for Joe Mullen. To the point. Murphy's shot. Blocked in front, gave it away. Stevens all alone. Francis hit the post. Mullen can't put it in. Unbelievable. Seeger's upset. The Devils are upset. The Penguins came so close. Joe Mullen swats at the puck like a flipper on a pinball machine and couldn't put it into the empty net. Watch this. Francis had his chance when he tried to put it in on the back end, but you're right. Joey Mullen had a great opportunity to score with the open net and couldn't do it. He should be thanking his lucky stars that his team is still tied 1-1-1. Boschman with Conacher going to the net. Shoots! Barrasso makes the save. Mark Recchi hustles to the corner to get the puck. Ulf Samuelson up the middle for Lemieux. He leaves the puck for Bob Airy. Recchi's coming behind him. The drop pass. Recchi holds up to Lemieux in front. They score! Lemieux to Airy, and it's 2-1 Pittsburgh. What a great play by Lemieux with three players on him. Airy was in the crease, too. We were talking about them having trouble getting out of their own zone because of the forechecking. Brown was right in on coffee, but he moved the puck quickly. Devin Stevens leads the rush, drops it off for Recchi to Lemieux. He shoots. Terreri the save. The rebound went through the crease. Coffey. Kirk Muller, Zdeno Seeger to Lemieux. It hopped over his stick, and he was knocked down by Mario Lemieux. And out comes Bob Airy. Killing some time, killing the penalty. Tried to pass to Samuelson, who's caught up ice. Here's a breakaway. McLean, Shanahan scores!
Hustles in over the blue line. Play was broken up. Puck stays in, though. Murphy to the front of the net. All sorts of action in front of the net, but the puck comes the other way. It's a two-on-one for the Devils. Brown to Conacher. Back to Brown. Just missed the net. What a great second effort, and Doug Brown just missed. It's been a great game, and there's been some quality goaltending at both ends of the rink. Tom Barrasso has really given the Penguins the big league goaltending they wanted in this game. So Mario's shadow is away. There's a shot off the wing by Pat Conacher that was blocked. Conacher hustles to the puck, to the point. Kasatonov shoots, blocked in front. The rebound is shot wide by Conacher. Doug Brown. Stevens couldn't get a shot on the rebound. Claude Lemieux. The Seeger, his pass, a long one, didn't get through to Peter Stastny. Mullen back in over the line. Francis goes to the net. Mullen shoots, scores! Joe Mullen flew into the arms of Ron Francis. His first goal in a long time. He missed the last 33 games of the regular season. His first playoff goal this year. And it's 3-2 Penguins. The goal by Joe Mullen was his first since the 16th of December. For a goal scorer like Mullen, that's an awfully long drought, isn't it? Less than a minute to go in the penalty. Doug Brown takes the shot. They score! <laughs> now here's Trache. His pass to Loney. Over to Yager. Cuts to the middle. Still with the puck. Loney's all alone. Stopped by Terreri. The rebound is stopped. And he holds on. Boschman won the draw. Weinrich takes the shot. Barrasso the save, and he scoops the rebound to the board. Driver fakes the shot. The pass in front. Barrasso stopped the shot. A wraparound by Brown. Brown thought he'd scored. No light, no signal from Andy Van Helleman yet. And the goal judge says no, though Andy Van Helleman says no. Watch. Well, Brown was certain it was in, but from that angle, it's difficult. You tell me how a goal judge is supposed to tell. I think Brown's reaction may have been unfounded. Driver up the middle for Stastny with McLean and Shanahan. Weinrich, the driver, reached the last minute of the third period in a 3-3 tie. Flipped in, loose puck in front. They score! The Penguins have taken the lead. 4-3 with 50 seconds to go. A crazy bounce, and Mark Recchi poked the puck in the net. 4-3, Pittsburgh. There's the high fly. Weinrich couldn't control the puck, and Recchi just got his stick on the bouncing puck. Eric Weinrich seemed to back off the puck as he tried to field it. Recchi's second of the night. Recchi's second from... Oh, and Claude Lemieux came up long and tried to poke at that puck after Tom Barrasso already had it. Devils go to the puck and get it. McLean to Driver. He shoots. Missed the net. Over top of the goal off the glass. Out at center. Driver. The Devils hustle in after it. Barrasso, good with the puck, shoots it up the boards. Francis trying to get it out, and he does. Bork will have a shot at the open net. Tipped away by Driver, but time runs out. And Mark Recchi's second goal of the night with 50 seconds to go has given the Pittsburgh Penguins a 4-3 win and a 2-1 lead in this best-of-seven series.
Ahead on the show, trailing 2-1 in the series, the Devils build an early lead at home before Mario Lemieux tries to rally the Penguins in Game 4. For the second straight game, the Devils had lost in heartbreaking fashion. Yarmer Jagger's overtime winner in Game 2 was followed by Mark Recchi's final minute goal in Game 3 that ruined three one-goal comebacks by the Devils. On paper, the Penguins only held a 2-1 advantage in the series. But psychologically, the lead seemed much bigger. Most expected the Devils to crumble. Instead, they responded with a fast start in Game 4. Scott Young over the blue line. There's Kevin Stevens. Here's a breakaway for Doug Brown. Great save for Tom Morasso. Paul Eisenbart for the Red Wings. Yager knocks Norwood down the centering pass. Totsi's shot is blocked, and it bounced right to Kirk Muller, and he starts out quickly. Three on two for the Devils. Here's Lemieux. He shoots. Scores! One-nothing Devils. Perry Anderson up the boards for Peter Stastny. Jeff Medill is the third member of this Devil forward line as they cross over the Pittsburgh blue line. Medill dumps the puck to the end board. Anderson is there. Centering pass, he scores! an impossible angle seemingly Perry Anderson has given the Devils a two to nothing lead Recky at center Phil Forks on the left wing as they get to the blue line Benesov stopped Recky here's Conacher Brown coming up hard Brown goes to the net the pass back Benesov is stopped by Barrasso drop pass for Francis Hillier moves up the centering pass Francis turned and tried to shoot and couldn't Kevin Stevens down on the ice is hurt and Hillier is after Fedesov. Watch right here. Jumped up in the air and hit him. It was Shanahan that got him. Probably for Fedesov. But Shanahan put the shoulder right into Stevens. And now he passes it to Coffey. In over the blue line with Mark Recky. Coffey's poke checked by Fedesov. Hit from behind by Lemieux and there'll be a penalty to clone Lemieux. A boarding penalty to Claude Lemieux for his hit from behind on Coffey. And now the Penguins get a power play. The Devils have outshot the Penguins 24-13. Mullen, Lemieux, and Recchi are up front. Coffey leading the rush again. High stick. Did Fedosov clip him? Coffey is down and hurt. And Gregson has called the penalty. Two pointing in this league, but the Soviets used to be pretty good with their stick. Watch this. Right in Coffee's eye. Close to it anyway. Hit Coffee in the face. You knew he was in pain. Five minutes for high sticking and a game misconduct. Fedosov's out of the game, and I wonder if Paul Coffee will still be in the game or not. In on the inboards to Stevens. Recky's out front. So is Lemieux. The pass goes to Recky. Back to Ron Francis. Over to Scott Young. Stevens setting up the screen in front again. Lemieux. Over to Young. Back to Lemieux. He shoots. He scores. Yeah, the big guy's angry. And the lead is cut in half. It's 2-1 Devils. And now the Penguins have some life. They trail 2-1. Lots of time left in the third. Now the centermen for the Devils have both been thrown out, and Bruce Driver will have to take the face off against Ron Francis. Well, I think Muller was hoping that he could get Francis out of there. That way, Lemieux would have had to have come in, and it wouldn't have been as ideal for Lemieux pulling it back. Penguins won the draw. Recky's shot stopped by Terreri. Loose puck in front, and they pile up on top of it and get the whistle. Having both centermen thrown out of the faceoff circle almost cost the Devils a goal, the tying goal. And clear it away from a wild scramble. Don't quite ice it. Here's Lemieux right in on Taglianetti. 
Aglianetti's pass intercepted by Medill, takes it to the net. Great save, Barrasso, on Jeff Medill, and he keeps the Penguins in the game. He dumped the puck in and gives chase. Bumps with Weinrich. Puck comes loose to Brendan Shanahan, and he'll take it up. Three on two, the Devils over the blue line. Shanahan cuts for the net. In front, they score! McLean! Devils aren't worrying about scoring on the power play. They're just working the clock. Claude Lemieux scored the first goal, shoots and scores again. Same spot, 4-1. This Patrick Division semifinal is even at two wins apiece. Chris Terreri and the New Jersey Devils have defeated the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-1 at the Burn Meadowlands Arena. Ahead of the show, tied at two games apiece, the Devils take a 2-0 lead into the third period of Game 5 before the Penguins rally to set the stage for a memorable finish. The Devils' victory in Game 4 even the series and dispelled any notion that the Penguins were going to have an easy ride in the first round of the playoffs. The message was clear. Despite their underdog status, New Jersey was a mentally tough team that expected to win and thrived when faced with adversity. It was now the Penguins who were being challenged and the team that was under pressure. Pittsburgh needed to win Game 5 at home to avoid facing elimination on the road. Here's Driver in front. They score! McLean has his first now, and the Devils lead 1-0. Boy, that sure silenced the crowd here at the Igloo, didn't it? Brendan Shanahan. Now gets some help from Stastny. Weinrich at the point. Back to Stastny. McLean's in the slot. Weinrich with the shot. Tip just wide. Stastny goes to the puck. As Driver open at the left point. Weinrich is open as well. The pass... Goes to Shanahan, driver shot, he scores! Devils lead two to nothing in a fine three-way passing play on the power play. Stastny and Shanahan set up driver for his first of the playoffs at 13-15. Driver with a goal and an assist, and the Devils lead the Penguins two to nothing. Recky, Stevens, and Lemieux. Young and Murphy out of the power play. Scott Young takes the shot. Great save by Chris Terreri. What a bullet from Scott Young. Good faceoff by Recky, too. He beat Lori Boschman on that draw. A lot of folks are going to say too much pressure getting first place. Ron Francis has just put the Penguins on the board. Fetisov. Trying to clear the puck and can. Larry Murphy. Gets the puck to the inboard. Centering pass. They score! <laughs> Penguins win the draw. Samuelson shot. Kicked out by Terreri. Murphy's shot. Stopped by Terreri. And the puck went up in the air and fell on the side of the goal. Larry Murphy again. Loney's in front. All over Terreri. Boschman's all over Loney. The puck is under there somewhere. Well, look at the job that Loney and Phil Bork were doing in front of Chris Terreri. Loney's on top of Boschman right now. At least I think that's Boschman underneath. Left the puck for Kasatonov. Stastny. The backhanded wraparound didn't get through. In behind the net, Claude Lemieux hustles to the corner after the puck. Tied up with Gordy Roberts. Three Devils get the puck loose. Kasatona off to Muller. Stastny back to Kirk Muller. Fedosov breaks for the net. They score! Doug Brown's a good skater. 
Murphy checked him, tackled him. Becky gets the puck to center. Seconds tick down. Laurie Boschman gets the puck inside the blue line. Larry Murphy with the back pass. Francis left it for Samuelson. Conacher got it. Wide open net. And he gives it to Doug Brown. And the New Jersey Devils will go home with a 3-2 lead over the Penguins in this series. Barrasso's back in the net for the dying seconds of the game. Ten seconds to go. The fans in the Meadowlands will be counting down the seconds, but here they've pretty well all gone home. The New Jersey Devils held off a storm of offense from the Pittsburgh Penguins in the third period. Scored three power play goals and have defeated the Penguins 4-2. Ahead on the show, trailing 3-2 in the series and facing elimination on the road in Game 6, Frank Pietrangelo is forced to make his playoff debut in place of an injured Tom Barrasso. Well, if losing Game 5 at home wasn't bad enough, the Penguins learned a shoulder injury to Tom Barrasso would keep him out of Game 6. Frank Pietrangelo, who had no playoff experience in his career, was named the starter. The pressure was intense. The Penguins facing elimination on the road in Game 6. He went and had a good steam. He said everything seemed so much clearer after that. He had a very positive feeling before the game. This is not the first time Frank Pietrangelo has matched up against Chris Terreri. They're old college rivals. Frank played college at the University of Minnesota. Terreri at Providence College. They met several times. For Pass rolled by Lemieux. Kirk Muller is the third member of this New Jersey forward line. Lemieux checked at center. Breaking for the net is Airy. Lemieux stopped by Terreri. And the net's off. Whoa, the big guy looks as though he's in full flight tonight. Here's a drop pass from Recky to Francis. Larry Murphy whistled the puck just wide, and back come the Devils, two on one. McLean and Shanahan. McLean can't get the shot away. Stevens caught up to him. There'll be a penalty, likely on Kevin Stevens. And Bill McCreary right there points to the net to signal goal. This is weird. McLean gets loose and banks it in off Peter Angelo. One nothing Devils. Mario's gone off the ice and Laurie Boschman has come on. Mark Recchi is the puck carrier. And Kevin Stevens who dumps the puck in. Ron Francis is also in on this Pittsburgh rush. Recchi stole the puck behind the net. Stevens shoots. He scores. A 1-1 tie. One thing I liked about Pittsburgh tonight after they had some early adversity with New Jersey scoring, they didn't quit. They seemed to, in fact, even pick it up a little bit more. Kevin Stevens found his way into the slot and found some room by Chris Terreri. High slot, high shot. Conacher and Brown have done a great job in this series. Samuelson. Dumps the puck to the end boards. Joe Mullen, Mark Recchi, and Kevin Stevens in after the puck. Stevens in front scores! And the Penguins have taken the lead 2-1 to one on the power play. Kazatona follows up. Francis cleared the puck. Just over a minute to go in the penalty. Being served by Yuri Herdina. Brendan Shanahan's on the puck. Checked by Tagmanetti. McLean to the point. Fedesov back to McLean. Benesov shot it, tipped by Shanahan. Stasny is robbed. He's robbed. And he can't believe it. Into the last minute of the first period with the Penguins leading 2-1. to one. Francis shoots the puck in. Almost given away to Lemieux by Terreri. Almost. Puck got out to center. There's Mario to Francis. In front, tip. Terreri to save. The rebound, they score. Here's Mark Recchi, the drop pass. Stevens in front for Recchi. 
Stevens. Centering pass, backhander at the side of the net. They score, Ron Francis. And the Penguins lead four to one. Bill Bork couldn't get the puck by Weinrich. Weinrich cuts to the middle. Stastny's right on the puck, alone in front. Tried to pass it. Unbelievable, he tried to pass it to Shanahan and they botched it. Weinrich in the shot, he scores! Defenseman out of the University of Maine at 12.38 of the second period. Penguins lead is cut in half at 4-2. It's a power play goal with Murphy serving a cross-checking penalty. Stevens at center to Mark Reckie. Coming up with him was Stanton. He decided to hold up at the blue line. Recky checked by Bruce Driver. Stanton pinches in, takes the shot. Terreri made the save. Stevens shot. Panda, a rolling puck with a centering pass. Ryan Trache couldn't come up with it. Roughing Miners to Francis and Muller were handed out. Here's Claude Lemieux to Seeger. Lemieux scores! Boschman bumped Mario Lemieux. Kirk Muller. Claude Lemieux. Boschman's in front. The pass. They score! No goal. No goal. Kicked in. Oh, he got his stick on it. They've really come to life late in the second period. Scored two straight. In fact, scored three, but one won't count. Bruce Driver. Shanahan passes cut off. Kevin Stevens just shoots the puck to a corner. Mark Recky with Francis open in front of the net just went to the end boards. Boy, the Penguins are really playing with a lot of defense and discipline right now. Terreri starting to move out of his goal. But the Devils were turned back at the blue line. Turned back again. Here's a chance for Recky to seal it. Holds up. And just backhanded the puck to the boards. The Devils can't get the goalie out. Lemieux to center. Turned back again. This time Taglianetti dumps the puck in. They're running out of time, too. Terreri started to the bench, had to hold up again. Here's Lemieux, dumps the puck in, flipped it in the air, and he flipped it out of the park. 24 seconds to go, and Terreri has to come back on the ice. But the Devils have felt pretty comfortable there, too. The net is empty. The Devils have the extra attacker up front, and they're running out of seconds. Dumped in. Larry Murphy goes to the puck. Can't clear it. Centering pass. Kicked up. Backhand shot. Just missed by Driver. Frantic action. Time runs out. There'll be a seventh game on Monday night. Without Paul Coffey, without Tom Barrasso, the Penguins have come back to even this series at three wins apiece, defeating the Devils 4-3 in New Jersey tonight. Ahead on the show with a series tied at three games apiece, the scene shifts back to Pittsburgh, where the pressure is once again on Frank Pietrangelo. <laughs> to say the least, Frank Pietrangelo's playoff debut had been memorable. Among the 28 saves he made was a highlight reel stop on Peter Stastny that helped keep the Penguins alive. With Tom Barrasso's shoulder still injured, Peter Angelo was called on once again, this time under the spotlight and pressure of a Game 7. Paul Coffey is back, and boy, the news spread like wildfire around town that he was coming back tonight. There's a story of a reporter traveling in from the airport this afternoon in a cab. Eddie Stevens bumps with Shanahan. Shanahan in front is stopped by Peter Angelo. Sundstrom got him the puck, and Peter Angelo made a big save. Here's McLean in front. Shanahan scores! Obviously not. I was sure the puck was inside the net. That's remarkable, and play goes on. Copy with a shot. Weak one that went wide of the net. Over for the puck is Zdeno Seeger. He flips the puck to center. 
Fedosov is stopped. Here come the Penguins. Yager to the net. Stopped at the goal line. Lemieux can't put in the loose puck. Bill Bork to Lemieux. Backhander stopped by Terreri, and he holds on. There's a loose puck in front of the goal. Herdina couldn't put it in. He was stopped by Terreri. Now he scores. Taglianetti gave the puck away. Here's Kirk Muller in front. Lots of time. Great save by Peter Angelo. They're hacking at the puck at the side of the goal, and there's a penalty coming up. Terecki couldn't shoot it. The pass was in his skates. Murphy keeps the puck into the inboards. Terreri's out to clear it. Pat Conacher can't move it out. Mark Recky to Larry Murphy. To the inboards, Lee Norwood to Pat Conacher. Lost it. Recky in front. They score! Mario. Devils have the puck. Working hard, Claude Lemieux trying to get the puck in front of the goal and couldn't. Yuri Herdina to Phil Borg. In with Yager. Borg centering pass, backhander, they score! Herdina out front, his backhander through the crease goes to the corner. Seeger with a long blind pass way ahead of Claude Lemieux goes down the ice. A little bit of room there opened up for Herdina because Claude Lemieux saw Herdina coming and went to the spot thinking he was going to pass it off. Paul Toffey with a shot, he scores! Deflected and the Penguins have a four to nothing lead. Peter Angelo gave the puck away to Kirk Muller. It's back in his net. Centering pass comes to the point. Driver's shot, great save, Peter Angelo. Fetisov. To an open corner. Jeff Fidel shoots the save. The rebound. It's kept out by Peter Angelo. Did it get a cross bar? Centering pass. Kesatonov shot. He missed the net. I think it's pretty safe now to say shut out for Peter Angelo. You didn't want to say it earlier. In one of the most memorable playoff debuts in recent memory, Frank Pietrangelo stopped 55 of the 58 shots he faced, helping the Penguins avoid elimination in the opening round. Most amazing, perhaps, is his work under the spotlight in Game 7, when he posted a 27-save shutout. Remarkably, this would turn out to be the last shutout, a playoff or regular season of his career. Thanks for watching another edition of Classic Series here on the NHL Network. I'm Dan Pollard. We'll see you again next time.